Hi guys, it's Annette in Gelatin and Far North Queensland. I also go by the name of Acrylic Art Alchemy. I found a colour scheme last night that I really like and I thought I'd film it um, to share it and start telling people exactly what I use. So, my base paint is British Paints. And I use Clean and Protect Walls, Low Sheen in white. And that's also what they call the Pillow in the Bloom Technique by Shelley um, Carruthers. Um, of course you can get it tinted other colours or buy mist tints in, in the same sort of paint to use or whatever. And then we use a homemade pore medium. Um, in Australia, the best one that we... Um, uh, can get so far is the Torgman's Easy Coat and it's a gloss in neutral so it has no pigments in it or very little in it, it sort of looks like a um, uh, a custardy colour, hang on uh, that's it there and it's, it's quite thick and we make that up into a pore medium um, usually about four parts to one part just on your gloss varnish and we use that to uh, mix our paint tubes and our pigments with uh, of course with pigments you need to disperse them first um, a good way of dispersing them or, or wetting them is to just use the gesso on your gloss on top stir it up until it's a paste and then add your homemade pour medium. Um, because all paints are, are thin or thick, depending on the consistency of the tube paint that you use, even though you can use a made-up pour medium, the ultimate aim is that all your colours are the same consistency. So, just on your paints, they're usually quite thin. Um, so you might mix that up and then think, oh, they're too thin for the, the technique that you want to do. And to thicken it, all you need is to add a bit more of the tube paint or a bit more of this untinted house paint. If you mix something like Matisse Structure uh, with your pore medium and it's too thick um, for your consistency, what we use is three parts water to one part Joe Sonia. It's affectionately called Joa, and that just makes up a solution to thin it back down. Or you can also use some um, pigmented acrylic inks and things like that, but this is the easiest way. Um, and then for our um, cell activator or the top mix, we use Australian Flow Troll. And that again depends on the thickness of the paint that you're mixing it with. I um, recommend if you're starting off with blooms that you actually use um, a known one that works and this uh, Amsterdam standard series acrylic paint works very well and for me where I am uh, approximately one part paint to three parts of the flow troll um, will give you the cell activator on top of your colours. Uh, I will do a mixing one one day and um, show you now that we're allowed to share the process um, with Shelley's, Shelley's um, blessing. Because knowing the ingredients doesn't mean that you're actually going to get yourself a nice bloom. So <laughs> that's a bit tricky. It, it's not as easy as what, um, what people will tell you. Um, but yeah. Anyway, tonight I'm going to make um, a bloom swipe on this 30 centimetre round. I've just taped it up. I mean, so, sorry, 30 centimetre square board and I've just taped up the back to protect it. Uh, or 12 inch square if you're not using the metric system. And the colours I shall use... I have um, an Atelier Thalo Turquoise, which is a tube paint. I have Pebio Iridescent, sorry, Pebio um, Pearl Blue mixed with Jacquard Duo Blue Green. Um, 
to make this pale shimmery blue color. I was inspired by a, a, a pour that um, Shelley Carruthers did uh, using sort of ocean themed colors and this is what I came up with. I didn't have the same colors as she had. And this little pigment I've got Mermaid. Uh, jo Sonia Dioxys in purple. This little pigment Cinnamon, which is almost a uh, shimmery copper. Um, Pebio Iridescent Gold. And Atelier Thalo Blue. Um, and then I will have uh, the Titanium White Amsterdam um, mixed with my Australian Flow Troll as a cell activator on the top. So I'll just move these to one side. I've tested the consistency of all of these already and they're pretty pretty good for what I'm after. Here, I'll just show you. It leaves a little bit of a trace, maybe three seconds before it disappears on the surface. And uh, the Lotion House Paint, the British paints, I've decanted some into a jar. And I've just added maybe about 30 mils of Floetrol um, to this part. I just wanted it a bit more runny to spread over the board. But then I'll add uh, a bit of just the straight Lotion House Paint as a pillow on top as well for the colours to sit on. So, woohoo! It's giving us spin up, some gloves on. Now, while I put these on, I'll, I'll take around to the camera and just make sure that you're in frame there. Yep, all good. Let's get going. All right. So this, as I said, is quite runny with the even just a small amount of flow troll in there. And um, hopefully I'll be able to put you on pause without turning off the camera because I'll actually take this over to a spinner that's inside a um, protected pit so the paint doesn't fly off all over my garage. Um, I think I'll swipe that way. I've done one already. I'm, I'm thinking I might do three to hang on my wall. Okay, just the straight house paint without any flow troll. And here we go. Okay, maybe a little spoon. She does um, a lot of beachy colours as she lives down near the ocean and I've always loved beach colours so I was quite inspired by the one that she did. And this is the Pebio Pearl Blue with the Jacquard Duo Blue Green. There's it. Okay. This little piggy mermaid. Gorgeous colour, this one. Josonia Dioxys in purple. Um, sorry, there's a fly keeps on getting in the way there. I might actually put it beside the blues, not on top of them. Other than that bit that just flung across the top. <laughs> of course it did. And 
this little pretty cinnamon, the nice coppery colour. Pepiolo Iridescent Gold Stick a bit of that in the blue as well I'm not too worried um, you, you often can't control these to a certain extent they'll just work out how they work out <laughs> Sometimes they don't work out at all <laughs> And then I'll put a cell activator on the top, probably a white, I think. Put in the ocean colours. You can do this um, two ways. You could put the white through there and then just swipe it with a... Um, a tool of some sort, even a, a playing card, uh, to b get the cells across. But I'm going to use, I think it's for icing the cake, this tonight, and just put the white here and swipe across that way. Okay. So that's the consistency of the cell activator there. I don't need to put it all over it because it's only to go over the coloured area. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now let's hope this works. Here we go. Putting a lot more cells down this end to that end, but there's still a lot of paint on here, so what I might do is just tap it that way a bit. You can't leave the paint on there, not the, that amount. Um, when it dries, or while it's drying, it will crack if you leave too much paint on. So just tipping it towards me a little bit too to get the excess paint off. Okay, I'm just going to come around to that side and hopefully put my phone on pause and move you over to the big uh, spinner and continue over there. Okay. Okay, I've just got the, the uh, swipe sitting down on my spinner in the pit so I'm just going to give it a slow spin to start with which will get the paint to move off to the edges and um, we'll see how we go. That's just uh, the paint coming off the edges that you can hear. As I said, you can't leave excess paint on there. As it dries, it'll it will crack. You can't you can't avoid it. I'm just tipping it a little bit off to this side. I like this side over here a bit better than the other side. If you have a, a side that you like, 
a bit better. You move the side you don't like further away, which is what I just did then. I'll show you what I mean. So if that was flat down, it would flick off evenly. But I liked this side better than that side. So what I did was I moved it this way. By doing that, more paint will come off this end rather than with the end that I, I like. I think it's just about ready anyway. Okay. Looks pretty darn nice. I could have got some more cells through here. I mustn't have pressed hard enough, but I actually quite like it. It reminds me of wet sand. Alright, I'll put the phone on pause, take my gloves off and I'll take you down for a little look. Okie doke. There it is guys. Looks very much like water. Uh, you can't see it um, with me recording it but it is extremely shimmery and very, very pretty. I would have liked uh, some more cells through this part, but I'm not too worried about it. It just um, it looks like wet sand, as I said. Uh, I've got quite a few peacock cells in there, which are cells with colours within the cell, which are, are gorgeous. Okay. So hopefully I'll get to doing mixing of the pore mediums and stuff for you all soon. But thanks for watching.